Hey everybody, I was over at my parents' house this weekend and they showed me this big collection of baseball cards that I made back when I was a kid, like 12 years old. I used to make packs of hand-drawn baseball cards and sell them to the neighbor kids and my brother. Usually it was my brother buying them, but you can see here is one of the wrappers. All draw uh, five cards, one logo for six cents. There's probably a couple hundred cards here, so I thought it'd be fun just to go through and uh, look through them. Maybe react to some of them. I think some of them are pretty crazy looking, pretty kind of strange. So let's check these out. Like I said, there's a few hundred of them here. You can see I was not the greatest artist. There's Jose Lee, and I guess I was making fun of pit stains that he had there. There's a Mark McGuire. I guess that would be like an insert card um, because I actually put some a little bit of time into that one, put some color there. Randy Tomlin. Randy Tomlin. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking with that one. That is not very well drawn. And there's another Randy Tomlin card. All Draw Ultra, making it a little more higher end there and putting some stats on the back. Uh, so this one would have been from 1992. Uh, Bob Kipper, Steve Avery. And you can see that I did some of these, like if I didn't like the player too much, I did something to uh, kind of make fun of them. Like, for example, this one, I gave Steve Avery some acne. Wasn't a big Braves fan back in the day. Then we have uh, Jay Bell, who uh, I guess is like missing part of his face. And uh, I guess he's like running uh, horizontally or something. How about all draw fun cards? Steve Avery again. I guess I really hated Steve Avery. I had trouble putting on that black stuff uh, with the eye black. John Wayner, rookie prospect, and it's autographed by him. Delano DeShields. Um, then we have all draw Mark Grace. So you can see some, my um, drawing ability did improve on some of these. John Smiley from the Reds. And then we have a Todd Zeal with a towel over his head. Todd Zeal was a former um, top prospect. This was from 1993. Never really liked Todd Zeal for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. So Roger Clemens hitting somebody in the face intentionally. <laughs> then we have a 1984 design. Frank Redditor, I think I just made this one up, trying to be funny. It says, this has gone too far, just everything is red. Uh, cool, red grass, so that's just a made-up one. Um, then I, I was just really just trying to get a scent on that one. That one's not that good. Uh, here's a Jeff Conine shaking hands with, uh, what's that say, cons? I don't know what that's all about. Carlos Garcia, Pirates All-Star representative there back in, I think it was 94. Mark Wire Super Slugger. Took some time and actually put some color into that one. Ryan Sandberg looks like, I don't know, doesn't have any bones in his body in that picture. Jim Leland, for some reason, doesn't look like Jim Leland at all with the uh, Pirates lineup in the back. You can see uh, Garcia's the leadoff hitter, Jay Bell, etc. Then we have some of these ones that all look the same. I don't know what this is. Mac from the Turtles. Chet Lemon. We have a YouTube subscriber named Chet Lemon who might probably want to buy that card. Tim Wallach about ready to get hit in the face with a baseball. What else do we have here? Um, Larry Walker, and it's upside down, and his body's all disjointed back when he was on the Expos. There's a Nigel Wilson, top prospect. You might remember Nigel Wilson was the top prospect of 93. And it looks like he's spitting a sunflower seeds or a sunflower seed in Renee Latchman's face or something there. The rookie, Kevin Moss, this was probably from 1990. Uh, Tom Foley from the Buccos, another Larry Walker. I guess I was trying to be like uh, old Diamond Kings with that one. Home Run Heroes, Scott Erickson, uh, Alfredo Griffin. Uh, what else we have here? Daryl Strawberry. Fred McGriff, Home Run Hero. You can see Fred McGriff, that uh, patented bat swirl above his head. He always had the high finish, hitting a home run there. Chuck Knobloch. Ron Karkovice, I guess underneath his hat. Ron Karkovice had a big old head of hair, and uh, everyone's laughing on there. Ron Karkovice, former slugger for the White Sox. Jose leaned again. Mark Langston, um, I guess holding some pizza boxes or, um, I don't know, bases there. Billy Ripken doesn't have a neck, and he's about to get out. Or he doesn't have hands, so, uh, and he's missing an eyeball. Billy Ripken, look out. Then we have Terry Pendleton, who... <laughs> Looks like a beast will there. I was not a big Terry Pendleton fan back in the uh, early 90s, especially after he beat Barry Bonds out for the uh, NL MVP. So there I'm making him look as bad as possible. Another one of the rappers. Here's a receipt from 94. Michelangelo Albert Bell. 
1994 All-Star card. What else do we have here? A blank card. I guess that would be kind of like one of our spacers that we get in our packs nowadays. Delano de Shields. Some of these ones, early ones, Andres Galarraga. Here's a pretty nice one. It took some time on this one. Ryan Sandberg. Uh, with the name right across his uh, face there. Kind of a bad spot for that, but Ryan Sandberg was one of my favorite players. Sandy Alomar Jr. with the catcher's mask. Zane Smith. No nose, Zane Smith. Jay Bell. What else we got? Scott Cooper. Making an error, and um, I guess he's coming out of the stands there. Little, uh, I don't know, artistic um, drawing there, I guess. Alex Arias, I don't know what's, I guess he's getting hit by a pitch there. Travis Fryman making a diving play. Uh, Carlos Baerga, grand slammer card. Looks like something happened to his eye there. Aaron Seeley, this is one of my brother's favorite players back in uh, the early 90s. I think I just made this one up, Stubby Turkey. Then we have uh, Jeff Bagwell with the uh, lightning bolts in the background, Home Run Heroes. Sandy Alomar Jr., Cutcher's Face. Um, another made-up one, Bob Patterson. Gilberto Reyes from the Expos. I guess I really hated this guy, Gilberto Reyes, because uh, he's got a runny nose there and his eyes are all crazy. Uh, Nolan Ryan, John Cruck. Uh, you can see John Cruck is eyeing up those donuts, and he's missing his right hand. <laughs> Got a Reds logo, John Smiley looking like a real weirdo. Another Gilberto Reyes. I guess I really hated this guy. I don't even really remember why, and I don't really remember much about Gilberto Reyes, but I made him look really, really ugly. There's a nice Gary Sheffield Diamond King card back with the Marlins. Dante Bichette with the Rockies. You can see it says something on his bat. Uh, Louisville Slugger. Cecil Fielder, who I guess is gigantic and fell down and created an earthquake. Says, boom. Cecil Fielder was a, a big dude. David Cohn wearing a dunce hat there, or a cone head. What's that say on there? Um, Dairy Queen. So David Cohn wearing a Dairy Queen cone on his head. This is just no effort in that one at all. Frank Thomas, Greg Jeffries making a catch. Um, Steve Sachs, I guess, falling backwards, about to crush somebody there. What else do we have here? Andre Scalaraga. MC Hammer, a good old MC Hammer card. Uh, I guess I associate him with the Braves. And there's his big MC Hammer pants. I used, I actually used to have an MC Hammer t-shirt and used to wear it when I was in fifth grade for some reason. And then we have a Mo Vaughn. Bobby Bonilla making a uh, jumping catch or falling over at the wall. Uh, what else we have here? Oh, it's my brother. It's uh, one of my brother's cards from the Mets. Um, even though he has a C on his hat, my brother always used to uh, wear a, a C hat for carbon. Doug Drabeck. Um, I guess fielding a ball there. Uh, Andy Moda. Casey. I don't even know who these guys are from the Turtles anymore. Rafael Palmero from, I, I guess that's a giant shake weight or something that he's holding up there because he's like vibrating. Alo Suna, Barry Bonds. It's a nice Barry Bonds. Um, I don't know what that would be called. It's some kind of insert card. Arrestus Destrade. He went to Japan for a little while. Uh, came back and uh, signed with the Marlins. What else we have here? Derek Bell. Danny Tartable with the New York uh, skyline in the background. Here's a Bobby Bow, a big Bobby Bow. Actually, these were taped together for some reason. Uh, Jim Leland and Bobby Bonilla. And we also have, uh, what else? Don Slot. One of those Nolan Ryan. Remember those Nolan Ryan cards? Kind of looks like that. Another Albert Bell, Hector Villanueva, Ben Rivera, Neil Heaton, Carlos Baerga. Some stars there. Jim Abbott, no hitter. And uh, threw a no hitter with, um, I obviously am showing that he doesn't have a hand there. Really impressive, though. Um, Ricky Henderson sliding in. Pat Listash. The lineup card in the background. Renee Latchman. I never used to like this guy for some reason. I always guess I didn't like his glasses. But I was 12 years old, so I didn't like people. For oh, Gilberto Reyes again. I'm going to have to really look what this guy really looks like because uh, there's a, that's the third one that I did of him. Craig Biggio, all-star card. Mickey Tennelton with his stats on there. That's from 1993. Slash from, I guess, the Turtles. Another Avery. Eric Gregg, the umpire. Uh, Bo Jackson, Bo Knows Broken Bats, Robin Ventura, uh, Edgar Martinez, who's now in the Hall of Fame, 
another John Wayner. Jose Canseco, instead of the ball hitting off his head, it's going right in his mouth. There's an Al Martin who is dueling with bats in the dugout against Jay Bell, I guess. Dave Winfield, we've got a JT Snow star rookie. Jim Deshays, who is um, shoving 32 baseballs into his mouth for some reason. Jim Deshays, Tim Salmon, Steve Bouchelle, Mitch Williams. We've got some more Turtles cards. Another Daryl Strawberry, Mark McGuire, all jacked up there. Chris Haney. Randy Johnson, who was 6'10". You can see he's way bigger than everybody else. There's an Ozzy Smith. Luis Salazar, Bud Black, um, doesn't even look like a human there. Lou Pinella, Todd Zeal again, second one, another John Wayner. Uh, Andre Dawson, Turk Wendell, Neighborhood Baseball, the Mad Golfer. We used to have this guy uh, who used to live two houses over who would always be in his backyard um, hitting golf balls against his house. So they were like wiffle golf balls, and uh, he would always be outside. Orlando Merced, all draw 93 pack there. Terry Pendleton, like zooming in on his face. JT Snow, um, I don't even know who this guy is, but he has a long mustache there. Another pack rapper. Glenn Wilson, I guess I thought his eyes were too far apart, and I was making fun of that for some reason. Lenny Dykstra, Marquise Grissom, Jose Leaned autograph card. Kenny Maldonado, bad guys. Um, Cliff Floyd, Mark Grace, Brett Butler. Then we have Greg Jeffries, George Brett, Jose Lind, Steve Bouchel, Tom Glavin with his uh, 93 stats on there. Doug Drabeck, uh, there's my brother, Johnny Jabs. Gary Sheffield, Ron Gant, Terry Pendleton again. Then uh, Mark Salas, who my brother and I used to call Mark Salalas. This is another guy that we just hated for no reason. Uh, really, really nice guy. He's throwing me some baseballs when he was the coach with the White Sox. Mark Salas. Didn't used to like him. Mark Salalas is what we call him. Jose Canseco picking his nose. It's a Cecil Fielder. I'll draw MVP card. Uh, some made-up guy, Frank Screwball. Ken Griffey Jr. batting right-handed for some reason. Tim Wakefield rookie card, and it's laminated. Tim has an awesome knuckleball, which is spelled wrong. Um, then we have a Steve Buschel. Phillies, Wild Bums. You can see John Cruck, Dykstra, Dalton, and uh, Mitch Williams. I didn't really like those guys too much. Archie Cianfranco, All-Star Rookie. Neighborhood Baseball. Um, is our friend Joe, who wore big um, shoes. Um, John Olerud, Lee Smith, Barry Bonds, Mike Piazza, Fred McGriff, another Barry Bonds. There's a Mickey Tendleton and a Randy Tomlin. That's the first stack. We've got a few more to show you. Another pack wrapper there. Terry Pellerin again. Uh, Kyle Ripken Jr., one of my favorite players. You can always tell who I liked more because I put more time uh, into them. Uh, Mets, Barry Larkin, 94 all-draw gold rookie, Midre Cummings. Midre Cummings um, really didn't amount to anything. Babe Ruth, the bad guys, I guess they just made up teams. Uh, Bobby Bonilla, Rafael Belliard, that's supposed to be an autograph, I guess. Um, you can see Rafael Bailiard is like two feet tall right there in that picture. Randy Johnson. What else we have? Daryl Strawberry. Um, okay, that's kind of... A, I'm not going to say anything about that card. Daryl Strawberry. Uh, then we have Ozzie Guillen. He just got ran over by Cecil Fielder there. David Need. Jose Lean jumping up in the air. Jay Buhner. You can see a Louisville Slugger. Uh, Ruben Sierra. Dave Winfield hitting a dinger. Tim Salmon, Cal Ripken Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. says outstanding star, and he's making a diving catch. Fred McGriff climbing up steps, I guess, somewhere in a stadium. Got the Pounders, just some weird names that we made up for these random made-up teams or whatever. Jose Canseco, that's a cool card. Uh, there's one of the neighborhood kids smoking a cigarette. Um, what else do we have here? Some more of those. Jose Canseco again with a really dumb look on his face. I guess you can tell I didn't like Jose Canseco that much growing up. There's a Juan Gon. Juan Gonzalez all-star card. Really went all out and made that card look as good as I possibly could. That one probably took me like at least five minutes to do. Will Cordero with a blank expression on his face. Cy Young card. Wild Thing. Mitch Williams. Um, Roberto Kelly. What else do we have here? Ken Caminetti making a diving catch. Eric Davis, Tim Wakefield catching a comebacker. Greg Vaughn, 
Um, Foodie. There's Foodie Neighborhood Baseball. I used to draw some characters from around the neighborhood. Foodie was a an old woman who was like 105 years old. Used to sit out on her porch all the time and just watch us as we played wiffle ball in our side yard. And uh, we would just be screaming our heads off and just acting crazy. She would just sit there the whole time and just stare at us. And um, nowadays, it's, it would probably be really awkward and just to think about what was going through her head as she was watching us. Petey and Clavilia, strike out all the time, at least according to that card. What else do we have here? Scott Bullitt, so fast you can't even see him. What else? Dave Need. There's an Elite Series. We couldn't ever find these cards, so I drew one. Bobby Bow. Bob Walk, who I made overweight there. Yvonne Calderon, looking at a fly flying through the air and uh, about to get hit with a baseball. What else do we have? Uh, Mark McGuire hiding behind a giant Louisville slugger bat. Curtis Pride. Curtis Pride, by the way, was deaf, and he was a major league player. Bill Clinton um, getting hit in the head with a ball. Mike Lavalier. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, Joe Carter, Kenny Lofton, Chicago White Sox, Frank Thomas, another Frank Thomas, Bo Jackson cracking the bat over his knee, Larry Walker. These early ones, I don't even know if I made if, if I, I made these or not. I don't remember drawing these ones. You've won a free fake autograph. Yes, fake autograph. I guess I was making redemptions before redemptions were a thing for autographs. Check that one out. Double action, Bobby Bow, 85 tops design. Here's a Toys R Us receipt from, um, when's this from? 1994 MLB Fun Pack was 99 cents and also 94 MLB Collector's Choice, 99 cents. Bought a 93 MLB Series 2 Stadium Club for 88 cents. So you can see what I spent my money on buying packs of cards. Or that might have been my brother buying that because my brother, most of these cards were owned by my brother. Um, we have. J. Bell Diamond Kings, Andrew Harsedania. Let's see what else I can find in here. Some of these are kind of like uh, repeats, especially the guys just standing there. J.T. Snow, um, I don't know what's going on there. Standing on the base with his legs crossed. John Wayner, Turtles. Um, there's Kenny Lofton card running real fast again. Don Mattingly, another Wild Bums card with uh, those Phillies that were kind of like a rival of my Buckos. Dave Smith Cubs card. Tim Salmon Diamond Kings. Oh, Aunt Penny. You might remember her. She was the Kenny Ross um, person in the newspaper all the time. Um, I don't think she's alive anymore. She'd be like 120. But Aunt Penny made her into a pirate player. Jose Lean, when he went to the Kansas City Royals in, I think it was like 94, like 1952 design on that one. That's a pretty nicely drawn card, I guess. Kirby Puckett. Uh, lost a bunch of weight there, looks like. And it's fake autograph by Kirby Puckett. Scott Brauchus. Don Mattingly. Mo Vaughn. Here's a, uh, what else do we have here? Ryan Sandberg calling his shot against some sort of like red planet. That's kind of a cool design. Jay Bell. Ricky Henderson. Those early ones. These early ones from like 1990 or whatever it is. Like, it's just the drawing's really bad. Uh, what do we got here? Matt Noakes. It's Matt Noakes' eyeball. Um... I guess I didn't like Matt Noakes. You can always tell the players I like because I tried to make them look cool. Like I like Brady Anderson back in the day with the sideburns and everything. Here's a uh, Ricky Bonus top ace for the Brewers. Haven't heard of Ricky Bonus in a while. Last time I heard of him, he was a bullpen coach with the Mets. I don't know where he's at right now, though. Another Frank Thomas. Uh, yep, Terry Pendleton. You can see right there. Looking all crazy looking. Here's a pretty cool one. Juan Gonzalez on like a mountain of bats. With uh, a bunch of like, um, I don't know what that would be. C and cursive E's in the background. Let's see what else I can find in here. What the heck is this? Jim Splitterbunk, a made up, I don't know what that is. Darren Dalton. Um, Raphael Belliard. Here's a, uh, what is this? John Croc sitting on Santa Claus's lap. And, um,. Santa Claus saying, help me. Here's a die-cut Diamond Kings Carpenter Jr. card. That's pretty cool. There's a uh, Greg Jeffries with his hat on backwards. We have Sean Dunstan, who's jumping over a player there. Some good uh, vertical leap. The, the Wrigley Field 
Ivy in the background, Orlando Merced. We have uh, Ken Griffey Jr. What is this? Super rookie. Mike Piazza was a super rookie. You can see he is enjoying a thing of Gatorade, a cup of Gatorade with the E hanging off the cup. A little three-dimensional Gatorade thing there. Sid Bream. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Jay Bell. Another Renee Latchman. Looks like he was the only manager I ever poked fun of. There he is with that toothpick in his mouth and uh, sleeping on the bench. We have a Orlando Merced. Bob Walk was another player I didn't like um, when I was a kid. But I like him now. I like Bob Walk's announcing. He's a good announcer. There's Randy Johnson, really tall pitcher there again, pointing out his tallness. Paul Molitor, DH. Uh, what do we have? Kirby Puckett. And a Paul O'Neill shaking hands. George Brett, all-time great. George Brett. It's kind of a cool design with the home plate taking up most of it. So that's uh, something I could see maybe a card company playing around with, making that into a design. Jumping Jacks, Bob Wickman, former closer for the uh, Yankees and Indians. Red Fro Lady from Neighborhood Baseball. Just um, another neighborhood lady that didn't like us because we were so noisy, I guess, and always screaming around, playing ball in the backyard. Had a bunch of old people that lived around us, and uh, we used to really just make tons and tons of noise. Wade Boggs. But we were having fun. It was all good fun. You know how kids are when they're having fun. Nolan Ryan's fastball. Obliterating a backstop. Um, let's see what else we have. Jack McDowell, the fire fastball. It's literally on fire in the car. Jimmy Key holding a batting glove. Or wearing a batting glove, Roberto Alomar in the rain, John Oliver, Mike Greenwell looking at a photo of himself and not liking that photo. Uh, I don't know what that's about. Scott Cooper avoiding a tag. Mike Aldretti, I hate this guy. Mike Aldretti is a complete um, just jerk. He was he's extremely rude when he was a coach with the Cardinals to a bunch of people in the outfield stands. Willie Mays, that's a nice 1993 kind of design. All draw. There's a, what is that? In memory of two great Dodgers, Roy and Don. I got the logo patch there. Don Drysdale, Roy Campanella. I got Sammy Sosa. Cecil Fielder. Getting down to the end here. Ken Griffey Jr., I guess, following through, hitting a home run. This is a Tim Salmon ultra card. Let me guess. Renee Lashman for like the fourth time. There's a Kevin Moss taking a big hack there. Another uh, six cent all draw pack. Here's a Junior Seau. I don't know why I drew him in a baseball uniform. He was a football player. John Cruck again. Oh, looks like a caveman. That's like the fifth or sixth John Cruck card that I drew. And we're getting on to the end here. So Nigel Wilson. I also have a couple other big uh, five by sevens that I randomly made in the shape of baseball cards to sell. I'll show you those also. Tony Pena, these are earlier ones. What is this? Is this a ticket? There's a ticket stub from 1996, Pirates and Giants. And that is just about it. A lot of these cards are just kind of generic looking. So it's Terry Pelman for like the 20th time. Chuck Knobloch, Cecil Fielder, and Dennis Cook with the crazy looking uh, teeth there, ex-Indian. My mom also found this folder um, in a self-awareness. Self-awareness was a class we used to have to take in like sixth or seventh grade. Um, it's a pretty dumb class, I thought. But here's some other drawings that I made. These were like um, large eight and a half by 11s. You can see Cal Ripken Jr. I used to sell these also. You can see my autograph is on there. That was from 1993, a bat that turns into a flamethrower. Ricky Henderson, stealing a bag there. And then what else we have? Kevin Moss from 93. With mountains in the background. Roger Clemens, throwing a baseball there. Tom Glavin, who uh, I guess was uh, another guy on steroids, at least according to that picture. Just uh, squeezing a baseball and turning it into putty, basically. David Need, 1993 Tops design. He was a star rookie. Never really materialed or materialized into a star. Another Nigel Wilson. Um, Super Dream Team card, Cecil Fielder with his shirt off 
And holding all of the planets. Again, these are all from 93. Willie McCovey. It's a nice, I, get, I took some time on that one. Um, back in the day, having the shirt off was a big deal. You might remember the Bo Jackson with his shirt off card. So Robin Ventura, Dragon Slayer. Then we have uh, Daryl Strawberry. Dennis Eckersley. That kind of looks like Eck a little bit. Orlando Merced taking a big hack there. Tim Salmon with another bat exploding into the air into a flamethrower. Um, took some time on that one. I don't know if I put prices on these or sold these or what. There's a Jose Leand. Made that one probably for my brother. Jim Abbott. Uh, JT Snow. So you can see who the players were back in the day that we liked. This one is of Gary Sheffield. Um, Ryan Sandberg hiding behind his bat. George Brett, Kansas City Royals. Fred McGriff. It's like a, what is that, 79 tops design, 80 tops design here with the Gaylord Perry. Um, Super Dream Team, Muscle Team, Carlos Baerga, who is killing a monster with baseballs. Darren Dalton. Uh, this is Barry Bonds. You can see this was after he went to the San Francisco Giants, and I guess I'm making a... Uh, I was kind of mad about him leaving. I'm in the money. I'm Barry Bonds and you're not. Um, yeah, he went and took the money in San Francisco. Got millions and millions of dollars. There's another muscle team, Jose Canseco. Steve Avery. We have a Kevin Young card there. Former Bucko first baseman. And then Andy Van Slyke. And uh, team's most talented player, Don Mattingly. Again, really jacked up on steroids. So... That's all I have for you today. Those are all the drawings that I made. Most of them were from 1993. Just thought it would be kind of interesting to show you those. And uh, maybe you thought some of the cards were funny. Most of them were pretty um, pretty weird. But as you see, I made a bunch of these. So at a cent a piece, I probably made like, I don't know, three bucks on all those. So that was just one other thing that I did back in the day to get some money to go and buy more baseball card packs. Hope you liked the video, everybody. Tomorrow we have 2019 Bowman. We have a case break, and if the case is here on time, and it should be on time, I'm going to do a uh, preview. I'll break open one hobby box and do a uh, product preview for you, and then we'll do the case break tomorrow, hopefully right around 7 p.m. Eastern time or thereabouts. So I'll see you all tomorrow, everybody, and have a great rest of your evening.